Stranded nearly 70 miles offshore, a man and his dog forced out of their burning sailboat, praying rescuers reach them in time. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Woody Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. We're just learning the incredible details of how rescuers managed to find a man and his dog just floating out in the Gulf of Mexico, nearly 70 miles offshore. ABC Action News reporter Clifton French joining us live right now. He just spoke to the rescue crew. So, Cliff, how are the man and the dog doing tonight? Yeah, they're both doing fairly well. They were both unloaded here at the Clearwater, at the Clearwater uh, Air Station Coast Guard, not releasing his name tonight. They're citing HIPAA laws, but we are told they were both taken to the hospital and both are doing fairly well. Coast Guard pictures showing the moments this man landed safely in Clearwater, his small chihuahua named Evie nestled in his lap. The two found nearly 70 miles offshore floating in a dinghy. Their sailboat burning in the water next to them, a curse turned blessing. When I saw the smoke, I knew that we found what we were looking for. The smoke giving the Coast Guard a clear target. We were about probably 10 nautical miles away uh, when I started to see the smoke in the distance, so I knew that we were where we were supposed to be. They were uh, probably about 100 yards away from the burning boat. That's Coast Guard rescue diver Eric Lieb. He's the person who was lowered into the water to pull the man and dog to safety. I disconnected from the hook, swam over to the, the boat, and uh, just had a quick little session with him where I, I assessed his condition and the dog. A mission safely accomplished for this diver and for pilot Chanel Lee, who, by the way, was commanding her first mission. I'm glad that, like I said, that uh, we were safely able to pick him up. Um, and I, I just wish him well uh, in, the, in the rest of his endeavors. And tonight we are still working to get the updated conditions on that man and his little chihuahua. The fire on that boat also still being investigated. I'm reporting live in Clearwater, Clifton French, ABC Action News.